Hi everyone, this is Ashish Dhani and welcome to InfoSec Train. So today we are going to discuss about another tool related to Active Directory and it is with the name Bloodhound. So when we are talking about Bloodhound, it is a tool which is programmed to generate graphs that reveal the hidden relationships within the Active Directory. And it also supports Azure and it enables the attacker to identify complex attack paths that would otherwise not be possible to identify. And the blue teamers, they also use Bloodhound to identify the path and fix those same attack patterns. Now, when we are talking about the installation of Bloodhound, so the installation is pretty much simple. Uh, APT install Bloodhound. And then with the Bloodhound, it will automatically install Neo4j console. Now, once it installs Neo4j console, so using that Bloodhound, we can enumerate the, the whole Active Directory. Now, Bloodhound has a GUI and Bloodhound has a data scrapper as well. So it does data scrapping. Now, Neo4j is the database. So we'll use all these three and we'll do the enumeration. So now, Let's start with that. The very first thing that we have to do is we have to start Bloodhound. So how to start Bloodhound? The command is Bloodhound. So it will give you this page of Bloodhound where you can enter username and password. But before that, we just have to start the database also. So for starting the database, we will write the command new 4j console. So after the new 4j is started, so new 4j will be running on port number 7474, right? And the username for the bloodhound will be neo4j and the password will be it will ask you first for the password that you will set so for me i have set up the password so as we can see it has started and we have our Bloodhound running. Now, how you will scrap data out of uh, Bloodhound? Using Bloodhound, we can get the data. So there is another installation of Bloodhound that you have to do using PIP3. So you can write PIP3 install Bloodhound. Now, I have already installed it. So I will just directly start it. Bloodhound hyphen Python and hyphen U administrator and hyphen P the password and hyphen N is the name server. So the IP of your domain controller and then hyphen D the domain. So for me, it is marvel.local and then hyphen C all. Now what it will do, it will scrap the data out of it. It will find out the data, whatever data can be extracted. So it is an extractor. So it will be uh, after running this, you will have JSON files in your current directory and it will be possible to check them. So if I do ls, right, you will see lots of uh, directories, right? But when we upload those files to the Bloodhound, so it will show you a graph like this. Now in this graph, what you can do, you can do the analysis. So uh, find principles with the DC sync rights. So it will give you the answer for it. So you can question the database and analyze what path you have for the 
further attacks. So that's how you use Bloodhound for finding information. Thank you.